Welcome to Vibespio. This is Bubalan. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to get a successful approval for OAuth consent screen for your application. Actually, I'm using this OAuth consent screen for my application. We call it as a Moi app. Uh, Moi app is nothing the gift register when somebody gives you the gift. I'm just recording all the information with the photocopy of it into my application. And if user wanted to take a backup, I already provided the option. Uh, where you can able to upload those detail into their Google Drive okay not mine okay so for that I need to ask the user to sign on uh, into the Google uh, platform through my application okay so that I can easily can able to access uh, their uh, Google Drive through the given APIs or uh, libraries provided to me okay for that i have to uh, do this over the concern screen actually if you don't know how to integrate the google drive into the android application don't worry i already made a video big video for that i'll give you the link below just go and see that uh, particular uh, video first and get integrated everything and this could be the last process okay the first thing is whether you really needed this one i would say no if you're making the application like a small kind of application the only thing is that if you are not verified this concern screen what will happen is when you popped up the user to log in it will uh, display something like unverified app on the top okay so that would give the little concern to the user to do the login in the applications okay to avoid that one this is kind of something mandatory so before you proceeding with this particular concern screen you just please make sure that your publish publishing status is uh, in productions and then this is the three pages you're supposed to do actually these three pages must be hosted on your own server okay it's not like a github last time what i did was i just created the github pages for all these three and then then provide the link here but they send the notification saying that action needed so whenever you just submitted for this application the google team gonna send this email saying that um, you followed all these rules and regulations give me the uh, approval so that we can go and do your reward that's what uh, they said to me i said that yes i confirmed uh, that my application does not fall any of this criteria and then please proceed then they'll take two days and then he said that uh, you provide me the link but these links are like uh, comes from github uh, so for github we couldn't able to verify your uh, user uh, information so that's what i said so then they asked me to put it in a, my host where it can be verifiable okay then what i did was i purchased the host uh, that like pyup.com and then i just created these two pages like a uh, gift registry and uh, uh, privacy policy and then instead of uh, giving like this what i did was i just given my home url which is nothing but uh, this one pyup.com okay here if you see that it's just a uh, uh, just like a generic page but uh, there is no specific information that says that this page is talks about are uh, giving the information about uh, this particular screen right which is nothing but a uh, moya applications so again uh, by providing this information this particular terms and conditions and the privacy well, i submitted the app uh, app again they comes and says that uh, hey your home screen doesn't look good it doesn't have the logo uh, will describe about this application kind of things so what i did was i created another page where i just put my logo here and the title here and the this are the just a design the predefined design available in the wordpress and then i just uh, made few uh, tinkering work here on the top and the bottom and that attach the video and uh, just uh, attach this terms and condition privacy policy here I'll open the terms and condition page as well and if I go back you would have seen my another page it's like a privacy policy okay so describe these two and then I did uh, uh, submit the things again now this time it got approved and make sure that uh, whenever you're just filling this one it will ask for uh, some error. it will show some error message saying that uh, this domain is not available please add this domain as well like pyappstudio.com and making sure that it's a HTTPS compliant so that they can assume that it has already been verified when i say save and uh, continue that's it is submitted for uh, review again whenever everything goes fine they will approve it otherwise they will send a clarification to you and then you just have to correct few things and making sure that uh, you're submitting down time so typically they will take uh, two days to respond to you whenever you just respond to their question so otherwise it's a very simple process uh, but make sh making sure that your home screen talks about this application 
and the rest of the things are improper just mention how you are handling the data and what is the privacy policy of your particular application that's it so i hope this video will find helpful to you let me know if you guys have any questions thank you so much for watching the video bye bye